Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, who came to us in the person of a man. The man's name is Master Farad Muhammad. In the name of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the black man who understood what he saw when he saw that man. And now he is the exalted Christ. And the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the best student of the honorable Elijah Muhammad, I greet you in the greetings of peace of Isalam Alaikum. Um, we posted a video on our Facebook page recently of us doing hand-to-hand -hand combat with weeds and also of us um, picking broccoli after we have um, defeated the weeds that we thought was going to take over the broccoli and the cabbage but all praise is due to Allah we were able to save the broccoli and the cabbage and we're picking the broccoli now somebody posted well we got to, to develop an invention to help Dr. Ridgely fight those weeds. Well, the invention is already invented. It's called herbicides. Okay, first there was the late hand, and then the hole, and then the herbicides. So, today, we're going to bring you up to date about where we are in history so that we can understand uh, what we must do. And so, the next time the Minister Farrakhan speaks to us, we will listen to him with the ear and the eye of instructions to follow, not just applaud and repeat, but instructions for each of us to follow, because it is a matter of life and death. So today, the topic is Yakub, slavery, herbicides, and robots. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has given us so much and the what makes the nation of Islam so special is that one piece of information that was hid from the world for 6,000 years and that is to answer this question here in our supreme wisdom. Who is the colored man? The colored man is the Caucasian white man. Yaqub's grafted devil the skunk of the planet Earth. Before this teaching from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Master Farad Muhammad taught him, we did not know where white people came from. We didn't understand why white people were so evil, why they were so mean, why they were so destructive. But here, in this one sentence, the colored man is the Caucasian. The National Association of the Colored Man, we are not the colored man. So they advanced themselves with that organization. It's the white man, Yaqub's grafted devil, the skunk of the planet Earth. Now, in the movie Malcolm X, even though Malcolm spoke, spoke a lot when he did speak in the mosque, in the temples, about Yaqub's history, the grafting of the white man, they didn't put it in the movie. But well, here from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Mr. Yaqub was seen by 23 scientists of the black nation over 15,000 years ago. They predicted that in the year 8,400, that was in our calendar year before this world of the white race, this man, Yaqub, would be born 20 miles from the, the present holy city of Mecca, Arabia, and that at the time of his birth, the s s satisfaction and dissatisfaction of the people would be 70% satisfied, 30% dissatisfied and that when this man is born he will change civilization the world and produce a new race of people who could rule the original black nation for 6,000 years from the 9,000th year to the to the 15,000th year which ended in 1914 the grafting started 6,600 years ago and took 600 years to make the white race now after the 1975 um, the messenger left us, we say he's on the wheel, his teachings were attacked. Afrocentric scholars and Muslims from the East said that Yaqub was a myth. That's very important. Instead they say that 25,000 or 45,000 years ago some blacks with tendencies towards albinism were lost behind the ice during the ice age and because of the lack of sunlight became white for the Sheikh Anthony Dia. However, in 2006, research came out and was published in an article called Still Evolving Human Genes Tell New Story. 
reporting on DNA research by Dr. Jonathan Pritchett and Dr. Richard Klein, it says Dr. Pritchett estimates that the average point at which the selected genes started to become more common under pressure of natural selection is 10,800 years ago in, in the African population and 6,600 years ago in the Asian and European populations. 6,600 years ago in the Asian and European populations. Skeletons similar in form to modern Chinese are are hard to find before that period, Dr. Klein said, and there are few European skeletons older than 10,000 years that look look like modern Europeans. Dr. Pritchett's list of selected genes also includes five that affected skin color. The selected versions of the genes are solely in Europeans and are per, uh, presumably responsible for pale skin. Anthropologists have generally assumed that the first modern humans to arrive in Europe some 45,000 years ago had the dark skin of their African origins, but soon, soon acquired the paler skin needed to emit sunlight from vitamin D synthesis. The finding of five skin genes selected 6,600 years ago could imply, this is what the article is saying, could imply that Europeans acquired their pale skin much more recently. So, selected by nature or Yaku? We say that this here is the smoking gun. This research by Dr. Pritchett and all is the smoking gun bearing witness to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad on Yaku making the white race through mutations, through grafting, 6, 000, starting the process 6,600 years ago. Now, the pyramids in Egypt, we say they was built by water, floated up. Now why is this important? It's important because slaves did not build pyramids. Righteous black Africans did. They were scientists, they were farmers, and they figured a way how to make a building, now the greatest wonder of the world that they can't even take down. It is right and exact to the inch. Huh. So now, they didn't do it with slaves, but we have to go into the teaching of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to understand this slavery thing and why we need to know what time it is today and understand that black folks can play you for a fool and a tool and want you and me to be their slave. Ain't happening no more. Let's go into message to the black man. 100, page 112 and 113. At the age of 18, this is talking about Yaku, he had finished all the colleges and universities of his nation and was seen preaching on the streets of Mecca making converts. He made such impressions on the people that many began following him. He learned from studying the germ of the black man under the microscope that there were two people in him and that one was black, the other brown. He said, if he could successfully separate the one from the other, he could graft the brown germ into its last stage, which would be white. With his wisdom, he could make the white, the white, which he discovered was the weaker of the black germ, which would be unalike, rule the black nation for a time until a greater one than Yaqub was born. This new idea put him to work finding the necessary converts to begin grafting his new race of people. He began, this is the important part, he began by teaching Islam. So these are Muslims. With promises of luxury to those who would believe and follow him. 
as Mr. Yakub continued to preach for converts, he told his people that he would make the others work for them. This promise came to pass. Naturally, this is Honorable Elijah Muhammad speaking, listen very carefully. Naturally, there are always some people around who would like to have others to do their work. Those are the ones who fail for Mr. Yakub's teaching 100%. As he made converts in and around the holy city of Mecca, persecution set in. The authorities became afraid of such powerful teachings with promises of luxury and making slaves of others. As they began making arrests of those who believe the teachings, the officers would go back and find, to their surprise, others still teaching and believing it. So listen now, these were black people in Mecca who Yakub was talking to. He taught them Islam. And a lot of us like to say Islam was promises, but what was the promise? Yes, luxury. They were rude. But he promised that he would make their brother their slave. Now, why would you want your brother to be your slave unless you think you are somewhat better? And we know from the Holy Quran, when you say you are better, that's iblis. You're already a devil because you think you're better than your brother and your sister. So the 59,999 black people who went with him to the island of Pilon or called Patmos, in the Aegean Sea, off the coast of Turkey. These were black devils already, not a race, but individuals who wanted to make their brother and sister their slave because they somehow thought that they were better. It wasn't that they were poor and Yakub was taking them out from under the rulership of a wicked king that was enslaving them, no. They were greedy, they were sorry, to the point that they would want to make their brother and sister their slave. They didn't know that they was going to be grafted into a race of devils. They didn't know that. But that's what they were made into. And those race of devils came and got us out of Africa to be their slave. Now you think that this race of devils who were designed from the weaker part of self to make their brother and sister a slave is going to give up on that idea? When they have in fact been given the promise of Yakub to come true, now they have made us their slave, made the world their slave. You think they give it up on us? What you think they're going to do? This is why we're going to talk to you today about what they're doing. Now let's see. Like I said, we use a system of hydraulics. As the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, Master Farah Muhammad told him, now, my system of hydraulics is my theory about that system. But, I think it's correct, and it wasn't slaves, and it wasn't, it was hydraulics. Water is hydraulics. Now, here's the Great Pyramid. Here's Kafra, Mikara. In the Western Cemetery, there are tombs. Nobody's ever found in any of the pyramids. Now this one, this one, this one, or 76 other ones have been opened. You'll find the Valley of the Kings. If you look at this map, you will see this is Florida. This is uh, Maine. This is the Great Lakes. This is California. So this is a map of the United States. What's the map of the United States doing on the Giza Plateau 6,000 years ago? This was hmm, keeping or telling the history of what was to happen to us that will be taken and, the, and, and buried in the northwest corner of our planet, America, until the master grip, the God came to take us out. They brought us over here to be their slave. Now we're inviting you to come to Muhammad's Farms. We put in Festival Bay 26, uh, 2018, because we're going to have to pull some weeds. We're going to have to use the hose in our hands to pull some weeds. But this is how it was done for thousands of years. They brought us over here to do it because we were the masses of it. Okay? But now, since we uh, were uh, emancipated and we 
went out and tried to do this on our own and was bought over 16 million acres of land in the 45 year period after slavery, they said, oh no, we're going to have to replace this labor. So they put the money from their profits into universities to divide, devise labor saving methods of farming. And what they have come up with is spraying weeds with herbicides using a tractor. So now they have invented herbicides that are designed to kill anything except the specific crop that you're trying to grow. They got all bunch of different type of herbicides because it's for each crop. For instance, like you're growing corn. You can't use the herbicide that you use on, on peanuts uh, on corn because they would kill the corn. But they had the device of special herbicides that will kill corn. I mean, not kill corn, but kill everything but corn. And now they have genetically modified so that now you can only have to spray at one time with one chemical called uh, like Monsanto's uh, chemicals gen that's genetically modified and you spray it one time, it's going to kill everything except that corn and it'll kill it down to the root so it don't come back. So when you go in the fields around Muhammad Farms, you're going to see no weeds in the fields around Muhammad Farms until you come to Muhammad Farms and you will see weeds because we don't spray. We could spray and not tell you, but we know Allah is alive, God is real, Donald Elijah Muhammad is alive on the wheel. And I don't feel like answering to them. Okay? But, this ain't good enough for white folks. So no, they don't need you out there with the hope. So what do you think they're going to do to you? You think they like you? They don't need you no more. And you're going to rebel? What do you think they're going to do? They're doing what they're doing. Shooting you in the back. Poisoning you in the food. Spraying stuff in the air. Because they don't need you no more. But you want me, Sister Ann, to be your slave. You want us to not use this, the, the invention, the science of the white man, but you want the crop. We've tried this for a number of years, but it takes a tremendous amount of hand labor to fight the weeds, my friends, without these chemicals. But guess what? They're going to solve this. These pests called niggas. They're going to solve that. They're making their own niggas. Again, they made us into their nigga. Now they're making their own an android that will not rebel because they got to pro pro program it. They programmed us, but Allah came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad and messed up their program in our head. So now they're going to, to build something and the software will not uh, uh, be messed up. It will be the slave. Therefore, these are to replace us. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know. Are you a striving to be a God of the new God? Or do you want to be a God in the framework of the old God? Yaku. And that is that you want your brother to be your slave. Are you willing now to do work? It's so bad, it's not only the black folks don't want to do farm work. Black folk do not to do do nothing with their hands. All the black brothers we run into trying to rap, and the sisters uh, trying to be discovered. You know, a model, a singer, uh, an idol, uh, a, a, a brother's playing ball. But nobody wants to do no work. I mean, you sweating playing ball, but you don't want to sweat doing no no work that's beneath you because you are better. Mm. So who are you following? Master Farad Muhammad or Yaku and his grafted devil, the colored man? And he don't need you no more. He's used you up. He has the wealth and the science and the money. Many of us are working for them. Even those in the nation, working for them to design the replacement for us. Mankind is making another mankind. All oh, praise is due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad and Ben Farrakhan. So please, when you when he speaks to us, listen for instructions. It's time to leave.
because they don't want us no more. They don't need us, and they're killing us. Slowly, killing me softly with his germs. Mm, he, he's messing up the sperm count. If that don't get you, he's getting you with weak food that makes you sick, and then you go get the drugs, and then that drug kill you. Chemotherapy or just the pills, then that kills you. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the promise was for the white man. He fulfilled that promise. He's made us a slave, but he don't need us no more. You're not going to find no slaves. So you need to find the work for you to do. We love it down here. I love to work. But I do not like being made into a sucker. Assalamu alaikum family.